Do you think that having that chronic pain mm. has changed the way you do comedy? Do you think you'd be a different stand-up comic if you didn't have it, pain? Well, I mean... Because you live with it. So at times, it's it's there all the time, isn't it? Debilitating. So this studio that we're filming in here, we, we film uh, Gruen in this studio, and a couple of years ago, the pain was so bad that I could, I could stand up, that was fine. Yeah, I could also lay down because I'm a lay down sleeper, so that was good. But um, <laughs> I could not sit down. Doing what we're doing right now, um, I literally needed to eventually get a cortisone injection in my spine to actually be able to do the show. But before I ended up getting the, the steroid injection in my spine, we explored a whole bunch of other ways that we could deal with it. So the first one, the first idea was they said, oh, we'll just raise the desk so it's a standing desk and everybody will just be able to stand at the desk. It'll be good for everybody's posture. Yeah. And then they realise I'm the tallest person on the show. <laughs> so if they put it at my height, everyone else would just be under the desk. <laughs> so it'd look like I was co-hosting Groom with Dickie Knee. So <laughs> then, I swear this is true, the next idea was that everybody would sit like normal at the panel. Yeah. But where my seat normally is, they would just dig a hole. A trench. <laughs> Yeah, somebody actually said that in a meeting. I was like, yes, that is the Dale Kerrigan solution. You're going to dig a hole and I'm going to stand in it. I said, I think people will notice that I'm standing in a hole. And they said, no, we've thought of everything. What we're going to do is get the props department to sticky tape your chair to your back. <laughs> yeah, they your taxpayer dollars at work. Did they do it? They did not do it. They, the, the, here's the one they, that they did offer, because it was, it was tough to get into work. I had to take three buses so I could stand up the entire way, and it was taking two hours each way and throwing out everybody else's schedule. So the ABC uh, decided that they were going to hire me a stretch limousine. To lie down in? Uh, no, not to lie down in, Fran. Their plan was to get one with a sunroof, <laughs> and they proposed oh, you that I would stand way. with my head out the... Now, that is fine if you are the Pope going to work. <laughs> or if it's schoolies week on the yep. Gold Coast. That's right. Or if it's the end That's of right. Pretty Woman. Like, can you imagine me in peak hour traffic? Just like... <laughs> just a normal guy. Normal guy going to work in a totally normal way. You can tell how normal this is from this chair that I have taped to my back. How's the pain now? Oh, no, the pain... Yeah, I'm OK at the moment. Is I'm, that the I'm... medicinal cannabis or is that I mean, something else? Partly. It's, I the think... it's the greatest, though, isn't it? Yes. Medicinal cannabis <laughs> is the greatest. I mean, for pain, yeah. fantastic. Mm. And you also get really high. Yeah. 